Pendleton, Oregon, a remote Wild West town, contributed disproportionately to American success in World War II. Bomber crews who would become the famous Doolittle Raiders, trained at and operated from Pendleton Field. The B-29s, which dropped atomic bombs on Japan, were supported by a maintenance squadron formed at the base. The first African-American parachute unit, the Triple Nickels, helped develop smoke jumping techniques from Pendleton Field. While thus promoting America's war effort, the base also deeply affected Pendleton and its people then and ever since. On November 29, 1940, the War Department selected Pendleton Field as one of 23 new group stations. In June 1941, the Army Air Corps became Army Air Forces, and its expansion sped up. After our entry into the war in December, the growth of military aviation accelerated even further. In just 85 hectic days, the Army Corps of Engineers and civilian workers turned a wheat field north of town into a functional military air base. The first Army Air Forces group to be based at Pendleton Field would soon achieve worldwide fame. In June 1941, the 17th Bombardment Group, then the only operational unit flying the famous North American B-25 Mitchell, arrived with 64 medium bombers in its four squadrons. On December 7, 1941, Japanese naval aircraft attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, killing some 2,900 sailors, soldiers, airmen, Marines, and civilians, propelling America into the World War. Yesterday, December 7, 1941, a date which will live in infamy. United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by naval and air forces of the Empire of Japan. At 12.30 Tokyo time, the first American bombs were dropped on the home islands to avenge Pearl Harbor. Most of the 80 daring volunteers managed to crash land in or bail out safely over China and escape the Japanese army, suffering less than the 50% casualties they were told to expect. Two raiders died in crash landings, another bailing out. Three of eight captured were executed by the Japanese while another died from starvation and disease in prison. Four crewmen survived brutal captivity. Others were badly wounded, but saved by local people. In 1944 and 45, Pendleton native Bob Stanger flew B-25s from the Mediterranean island of Corsica to bomb German positions in the Italian Alps.